I don't listen anymore to what people have to say. I skip and I scroll instead. I want life to be in double speed and for a fear of wasting time I make life go faster and faster and faster. Because waiting is wasting time. Let me set the mood for you. Long lines, aggregation, impatience, bad weather and overbooked flights. A true recipe for disaster when everybody wants to get home in time for a festive season. Unaware of what lied ahead of me, I boarded my flight and received a call from my family in the Netherlands who I was supposed to meet in Istanbul for a family getaway. I have some sad news for you. There is a terrible windstorm in Amsterdam and our flight to Istanbul has been cancelled. We won't be able to meet you there. Uh, get in touch when you can. Love you. So here I was, stuck in a hotel room in Istanbul. I didn't really know what to do with myself, so I did what anyone with a phone call away from food being delivered at your front door would do eat room service and watch cartoons all night and deal with life tomorrow. Quickly, the cartoons got boring and I could feel my brain yearning for more content and so I gave in to the quick sense sucking abyss that we call YouTube. Video after video flashing before my eyes, only leaving my room to put the remains of my feast outside. There was a wide open world of unventured streets for me to explore, and here I was bathing in blue lights, unified with this machine like it was an extension of my soul. Hey guys, so it's a couple hours later and I'm still alive. Ooh, feeling ill as fuck, I'm not gonna lie, my nose is fucking blocked as hell. I'm actually considering ordering some tea, but that feels so excessive and I'm kind of hungry because there's like a time difference of three hours so oh my god what the fuck was that I think someone just tripped over my um my food that I left outside anyway there's a time difference of three hours so usually I have like a snack now but I don't have a snack because I'm, I don't um <laughs> I think room service is 24 hours anyways. I always feel bad like making them come all the way up here, but then also like it's probably their job, so maybe it's like better for them to have something to do. Anyway, bye. I had spent the previous night immersed by a fluorescent screen, waking up with a pulsating social media hangover and with no recollection of who or what I had watched. I had consumed myself to a content blackout, and we all know this wasn't my first time. Our tolerance for quick, crappy 5 second content is higher than ever. There's too much to consume, and most of it goes from bad to worse. Videos are blasted before our eyes at the speed of light, and no one has time anymore for a 1 minute long intro, when we do have time for 3 hours of 10 second long videos. It doesn't add up, and we know that. But it's so easy, so comforting, so fast that brains don't even have the time to formulate coherent opinions anymore about what we're actually watching. It sounds scarily similar to brainwashing, right? Hey guys, so I'm back in the hotel. Um, I did some walking around and stuff. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling like shit! It's such a shame because the city's actually insanely beautiful. Like there's 
a lot of beautiful mosques around that I would really like to see. The vibe of the city is like exactly what I like. I might just have a nap or something, I don't really know. I've literally walked around for like two hours and I was like, I can't do this, I'm gonna go back. I have these amazing things. I had, I had two for breakfast. <laughs> Like these pretzel breads with sesame seeds on top of them and it's actually like so fucking good. Well, it's easy to complain, but to make complaining justified, we have to come up with a solution. And this is where patience comes in, a skill I and many others are bad at and social media is built for impatient people. It all starts making sense when you compare consuming content to consuming food. An unusual food you haven't tried before, you wouldn't just gulp down in one second whilst running down Oxford Street whilst you're trying to solve a level 10 Sudoku, right? You sit down. Take the time to observe it, hesitantly take a first bite, give it a few moments to sit in your tongue, swallow, reflect on the taste, structure and smell, and compare it to your favorite foods. Do I like it? Do I want to eat it again? Do I want more? You wouldn't eat 50 meals in the span of one minute, all from different cuisines, whilst only taking a bite from the very edge of it. Because maybe with that, you're missing out on the juiciest part, you know? The part where a coin drops. The part where you're satisfied. It's almost impossible to reach satisfaction when you don't have patience with what people are trying to tell you, what feelings they are trying to convey, the purpose of the content they made for you. You can't let food satisfy you when you don't even give it enough time to reach your stomach. yesterday which I loved it was phenomenal yesterday I also went to the bazaar but it was honestly like I went I was there for like fucking two no not two but I was there for like 20 minutes you know and then I left so I was like I can't like this is too much too much stuff to buy everything looks too much the same you know like I find it very hard to differentiate between different sellers I need to have a shower and stuff Really disgusting because I was so tired last night that I didn't even take any of my makeup off, so I look like a fucking animal. I think I started to confuse wasting time with waiting. When we wait, we know something is going to come. The delicious food that is being prepared for you, the climax of a film, your friend who is running late, the chorus of a song. Wasting time happens when we know that nothing is going to come, but we still willingly engage in the activity of waiting. And to wait you need to have patience with yourself and with others. And giving in to impatience is more wasteful than anything, because with it I almost missed out on the best part of a film, on my clothes being no longer damp but dry, on the most beautiful mosque because I couldn't be fucked to wait in line for 15 minutes. The price you pay for speeding up life, for impatience, is high, and I think the fix is to not skip and scroll, but to think and listen. Social media is not bad at all, it's an incredible way to feed your hunger to know more, to learn, but all you have to do is give people the time to tell you their story, because good stories are not meant to be sped up, and people are not meant to be sped up. 
because good things take time. So next time I find myself in a void of 5 second long videos, I might ask myself whether I'm waiting to gain something or whether I'm wasting time. Because nobody likes to pay for shit food. I think that's a good start. Mm -hmm.